on Tucker Time, I'm going to show you a new kind of lava lamp. All you need is vegetable oil, a clear container, and this, colored ice cubes. This science experiment is really simple. Let's get started. Fill your container about halfway up with your oil. Making a vortex with bubbles. Now you put your colored ice cubes into the oil. Whoa, it looks bigger. Let's take an egg. That's light refraction. It looks so big. Here's our special ingredient most people use for lava lamps. Alka-Sauce. Drop one in and watch your bubble. Size it. Now we have a bigger container and bigger ice cubes. Be careful. Now you put your ice cubes in. Look how big it looks now. No way! It looks so big. Whoa, look how big. It looks like there's a bear. You see how the water is dripping? You know why it's dripping in beads like that? Oil is hydrophobic, which means it won't mix with water. You can mix and mix and mix, but it won't combine. So as the ice melts, it beads up and drips to the bottom. Water is denser than oil. That's why it drips to the bottom. I like this one better than the other lava lamps because it takes longer since you're waiting for the ice to melt. It looks like a million drips. It's still wrapping. It's clowning. Alka Seltzer time. Alka Seltzer. Good. 
It does look like a volcano. Whoa! That's so cool. Did you just put one in? Yeah. Put the other one in. Adding the Alka-Seltzer makes it so much cooler. It's like a volcanic explosion. This is so satisfying. I hope you liked the frozen lava lamp. Drop a comment down below if you do it at home. And remember, smash that like button, ring the bell, follow me on social media, and subscribe if you like my videos. Bye! Keeps going and going and going. Thanks for watching Tucker Time.